Thomas of the Universe. Well, I quickly changed background and I guess you will see this video even before the one that I just shot on the Euro qualifying drop but recent events. The international break is barely over and we have a huge development in England, namely Pochettino got fired at Tottenham and as a replacement they hire the anti-Pochettino, Jose Mourinho, hence wearing my Spurs jersey. Um, you know, I'm in no way an insider, but I know the Pochettino was kind of a forward-thinking coach, attractive uh, style of play, everything moving forward. Uh, and to me it does make sense that they hire Jose Mourinho. I think there would be many other managers, more modern thinking managers. I think Mourinho is... He could still be a successful manager, but I think he's more or less a thing of the past, to be honest with you. Um, I think he would, should have to, he would have to do a Van Hal thing where he goes to a smaller team and gets successful with that smaller team. And then maybe he gets the shot at a bigger team again. But the way it stands, uh, Spurs... Yes, I'm not surprised that he got sacked. Um, from all I could hear, it was not a very healthy relationship with the players anymore. It basically um, he could not really get through to his squad. And if you look at Spurs' performances, they were not great. So I'm not that surprised. I just thought people are giving him a little bit more credit for reaching a Champions League final. And actually, putting Spurs in the conversation as one of the top four teams in England, which probably this year they are not. Uh, but who knows? So I, you know, from one side, but. They fired Ranieri from Leicester. And Spurs are dangerously close to the relegation zone. And on my jerseys here, they were already the last one in behind Newcastle. Mourinho doesn't make sense to me. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, it will be a show, probably. It might be that Spurs even win something. <laughs> in a year, but I think it's just a short-term appointment. I think it's very short-sighted. Uh, if you're a Spurs fan, I would be gutted by that uh, decision. As for Pochettino, I think he will be interesting to a lot of teams. I mean, my first reaction was, okay, Solskjaer is fired, Pochettino will be in there. Not sure if they will go that way. Um, I also like the comment by, I think Craig Burley said that, going back to Mourinho, Mourinho is going from the frying pan to the fire. Let's see, because, you know, Ed Woodward didn't spend at United, and Daniel Levy will also not spend. But back to Pochettino, I'm very curious where his future will be. Um, might be Manchester United, might be that he goes to Spain, but you know, um, where would he go? We know he's not going to Barcelona, although they might be looking for a coach. I don't think Real Madrid will get Real Zidane, so maybe it's a Valencia type thing. Could be. I could imagine him at Bayern. To be honest, but I don't think that Bayern will hire him because he doesn't speak German. But I think he would be a great appointment for uh, Bayern, especially if they want to do a rebuild and they have kind of a youngish squad, so <laughs> this could work. Anyway, that's my few cents on the whole thing. To me, it's the craziest story. Also, the timing is kind of probably they had meetings, but to this ahead of the international break, before they uh, at the beginning, not at the end, now Mourinho steps in and it's, it's kind of a mess. Anyway, let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel more for more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.